This is Tom Racky, and these are the top seven foods to eat to get your recommended protein levels and build muscle fast. And we're starting now. So the beauty is it's not just protein that you're eating. Even though protein is very important, there's so many great muscle healthy nutrients in a lot of these foods. Specifically, did you know creatine is very beneficial for muscle strength and muscle building? And it's found in a lot of the foods that we're talking about. In fact, you can get the equivalent creatine in some of these foods than you can from scooping and supplementing. That's what people don't realize. Creatine is a natural substance. And then there's another substance called HMB. So HMB works on your muscles by preventing the breakdown of your muscles. This is also found in a lot of the foods that we're gonna talk about. Some studies actually show that HMB and creatinine together are more effective than steroids or testosterone. Don't worry, you're not gonna be like a gigantic bodybuilder like this guy, where the real benefits are long life and enjoying your golden years, being physically fit and enjoying your life. And your branch chain amino acids. These are your core amino acids. They're found in central pathways throughout your body building muscles, building strength, it's found in a lot of these foods. So there's just so much good nutrition and omega-3 fatty acids. These are also important in strength training and building muscle. These are found in a lot of these foods. So these are the top seven foods that I've found that help people build muscle. And no matter what your age is, Building muscle is the single most important thing you can do. There was a study in the American Journal of Preventative Medicine and the British Journal of Medicine, and they found that people who strength trained, and I'm talking push-ups against the wall, air squats like this, lifting a book in front of you, you don't have to go to the gym and be barking and lifting 500 pounds on the bench press. If you're an older person and you don't strength train, that's the single most dangerous decision you could be making. People are worried they're gonna hurt themselves strength training, but it's an opposite factor. If you don't strength train, that's the worst thing you can do for your health. So consider it, I have a ton of guides on this stuff, but here's the top seven foods. And I'm counting down from least practical to most practical. Number seven, quinoa. This is a plant-based protein. Quinoa provides a complete amino acid profile. So it gets you your branch chain amino acids, like leucine, isoleucine, which is rare in plant foods. So this is for my vegan friends who are watching this. I care about you guys. I always include stuff for you here. This makes it valuable for muscle building. While direct studies on quinoa and muscle growth are limited, it's high protein content along with nutrients like iron and magnesium contribute to overall muscle health and recovery. And remember, you want to get 0.8 grams per pound in the body or 1.6 grams per kilogram of body weight. The key with things like quinoa is that they replace noodle dishes and rice dishes. For example, that's pure carbs. But with something like quinoa, you're getting so many vitamins, you're getting decent amount of protein. Now it's not as much as the other things we're going to talk about in this video, but it's a phenomenal replacement. And just doing this for your main meals can change your life completely. You can lose fat and gain muscle. Number six, salmon. Salmon is a great fish, but cold water fish in general are high in protein, omega-3 fatty acids. These support muscle health, reduce inflammation, enhance muscle strength. It's very versatile and can be cooked in a lot of different ways. Salmon is an excellent source of protein, omega-3 fatty acids. This is a true superfoods. The go-to for omega-3 is cold water fish, mackerel, salmon, whitefish, herring, anchovies, tuna. A small little portion essentially gets you your daily need. Shellfish as well, oyster, blue crab, shrimp. You know, that's probably not the most practical way for the carnivore watchers here. Beef can give you some, although it's not going to be large amounts, but flax seeds, hemp, chia, walnuts, if you want to get it and you don't want to buy supplements, flax seeds are amazing. Look at how much is in one serving, one tablespoon of flax seeds. That's actually two days worth. So that's probably the single best way to get it. And then it's in vegetables as well, but you have to eat a decent amount of vegetables to get your fill. Omega-3s are known to support eye health, inflammation, muscle building. They're very important. Our omega-3 in society should be about 
one to one with omega-6s. But right now, the average person on the modern processed diet is about 25 to one of the omega-6 to omega-3 fatty acids. So make sure you're getting your omega-3s in. Omega-3s are so well studied for muscle building. 1.1 grams for women, 1.6 grams per men. You can easily get it in your foods. You don't need to supplement. This is so well studied. It's an anti-inflammatory, helps with muscle strength, joint health, lubrication in your joints, blood flow to your muscles. This is one of the most studied supplements and almost every strength trainer I know takes these. Number five, lean beef. Lean beef is not only a top-notch source of high quality protein, but also contains a blend of muscle building nutrients like B vitamins, B12, creatine, and iron. The carnivore diet's getting more popular than ever. And look at some of the guys that are on the carnivore diet. They are all jacked. Essentially, the principle behind the carnivore diet is you don't need to eat high fructose corn syrup, which is in all our processed foods, and you're just eating meat. You're getting all these great nutrients. A study in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition suggests that the consumption of lean red meat can increase lean mass gains with resistance training. Now, people are like, hey, it's unhealthy for your cholesterol. But the reality is that has kind of been disproven. Studies show that even eating saturated fat now does not correlate to high cholesterol levels. What's more important is the fact that you're lean and you exercise. If you're obese and you don't eat meat, you're going to have a higher cholesterol on average than someone who's lean, exercises, and eats meat by a large margin. For thousands of years, people have relied on just eating beef. I've heard a cardiologist say that it is the single best and most reliable vitamin out there. Look at how much healthy stuff is in there. If you are eating some of these meats or foods, you essentially don't have to take a daily multivitamin. Almost everything's already in here, and there's absolutely no sugar. This is almost the perfect food for nutrition. Nutrition. Number four, chicken breast. This is a low fat, low calorie protein source rich in niacin and vitamin B6. It can aid in fat loss and improve muscle definition. Preparing it with various seasonings and using it in various dishes is very important. Chicken breast is a staple in muscle building diets due to its high protein and low fat content. The protein in chicken helps repair and rebuild muscle tissues especially after an intense training session. So you have your precursors to HMB, creatine, high protein. Research indicates that if you're getting at least that 0.8 grams per pound, that's really gonna help with strength training. This website compares all the different types of chicken, but look at the boneless chicken is almost pure protein. So chicken breast, look at that 50 grams of protein, no fat, no carbs, that's insane. Same with ones with the bone, chicken breast meat as well. This is unbelievable. In an age where we're eating too much processed sugar, fructose, added grains as the majority of our calories. If you can eat more chicken that's not fried, if you can eat that lean chicken, you can see how little calories it is and how much protein and nutrition you're getting. But take a look at this. Once you get into the fatty thighs in the crispy fried chicken wings, the legs, then the protein starts to decrease and the fat starts to pick up, especially if it's fried. Chickpeas, a plant-based option provides protein, fiber, and complex carbohydrates. This is another option for vegans. Chickpeas support muscle building, help regulate blood sugar, and aid in digestion. Highly, highly recommended. You can use this to make hummus. Just don't add too much oil. I know the hummus I buy at the store, it's loaded with oil. That's going to offset the chickpea benefit, so just be aware. You want healthy chickpeas. Chickpeas have some excellent health statistics. Hardly any calories, a decent amount of protein, high in fiber, high in nutrition. This is what you want to be eating regularly. Greek yogurt. This is phenomenal. I love Greek yogurt. A dairy product high in protein, calcium, and probiotics. This can enhance muscle protein synthesis. It's a very versatile food that can be consumed with various toppings or used as a substitute in recipes. Greek yogurt is a nutrient-dense food containing both high-quality protein and a good amount of calcium. The research in this Journal of Nutrition has shown that dairy products like those in Greek yogurt can enhance muscle protein synthesis, leading to improved growth. 
just be careful about the added sugar, but check this out. 22 grams of protein, 120 calories plus probiotics. That's an amazing choice. Now the trick here is, is milk good as part of dairy? I didn't put it on this list for a couple of reasons, but I have a video that top 10 lies and secrets and the new research on milk and dairy. Check that out when you have time later. Highly, highly important video to watch these days. And number one, bum, 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 eggs. Eggs are an excellent source of protein. These are essential for muscle growth and they are loaded more than anything else with vitamins, B vitamins, choline, omega-3 fatty acids. Include these in your diet through a variety of dishes. I did numerous videos on eggs. Do eggs cause blood clots? Do they raise cholesterol? Studies overwhelmingly now are saying probably not. They do not. In the past, there was some bad studies that said they increase your cholesterol. And I know sometimes people attack me in these videos, but the studies are just getting so overwhelming that eggs do not raise your cholesterol. I stand strongly by that. A study in the Journal of American College of Nutrition found that high protein diets, including eggs, significantly increase muscle strength, especially with regular exercise, and it does not raise cholesterol. So the big secret is this. There is no clear consensus that eggs raise your cholesterol. Historically, because there's cholesterol in the egg yolk, people thought you'd have high cholesterol in the blood. That's kind of been disproven. And when you cancel out the cholesterol, you have to look at all the vitamins, your B vitamins, your omega-3 fatty acids, your vitamin K2. This is one of the best and most practical sources of vitamin K2. And this can be something that's very heart healthy and artery healthy. Look at all these vitamins. A cardiologist once strongly told me this is the single most reliable and proven multivitamin. When you take the store-bought vitamins, you don't know what's in there. But with an egg, you know what's in there. So it might be the opposite. The egg might actually even be heart healthy. So what's the big secret? These foods have so many great nutrients, but number one most important, the big secret is protein. A lot of these foods have a complete amino acid profile. You get your branch chain amino acids, which are the important amino acids in all the pathways of building muscle in your body. So your muscles are always building and they're not breaking down. Right now, medications like Ozempic, Manjaro, people are not getting the required amount of protein and their muscles break down. This is a vicious cycle because even though you lose weight, you become so weak and so frail and your metabolism can decrease by a significant amount. I've had patients that have lost a lot of weight and if they're not eating protein and strength training, which you always have to be, I'd say it's the number one most important thing you can do. They get so frail, their metabolism's low. I have some patients in clinic it's not that they're 400 pounds, but they're just so frail and weak and they're not even that old because they just lose when they yo-yo diet, they don't keep and build muscle. This is an excellent study that looked at almost 50,000 people and measured their grip strength, which is a great indicator for your overall muscle strength. So that's how hard you grip essentially on a grip strength device. But look at as you get past your 40s, over to your 60s, at your 60s, you basically start to go over the cliff. It's even worse for women. So as you get older and as you get over 65, your bone mass, your muscle mass go down. And one of the big secrets is if you can maintain your muscle mass and keep functional, it keeps everything going. It keeps your metabolism, your bone strength going. You're not gonna become a bodybuilder most likely if you're watching this video, but you will potentially have a greater chance of being more athletic, more fit, less nerve pain, less joint pain when you hit your later golden years. And that's the goal of this video. Here is where it gets even more exciting. They've determined that there is no change in metabolism if your muscle mass stays the same. That's insane to me. Your metabolic rate is predicted largely by your fat-free mass. So if you can keep your muscle up, theoretically your metabolism should stay up into your 80s, 90s. If you can maintain that muscle mass, then this has been shown to be the single number one predictor of high quality life in your golden years and older years. If you're not strength training and you lose weight, it's said that 50% of your weight loss is muscle strength. But if you're strength training while you lose weight, 90% of that weight loss is now fat and only 10% is muscle. So you always wanna be strength training, whether you're gaining weight or losing weight. It's the single most proven thing to do and these foods will help. They'll give you your protein, they'll give you your creatine, 
They'll help you with isoleucine, which leads to HMB. They'll help with your B vitamins, especially B12. B12 has to come from meats and it will help with your omega-3 fatty acids. To go over all these, including creatine and HMB, check out those videos. They're so important, you won't regret it. And if you need any of these supplements, check my links below. It helps support the channel. I find the highest quality ones with the best reviews. Check that out below.